the harpoon is an all-weather, over-the-horizon, anti-ship missile system, developed and manufactured by McDonnell Douglas. In 2004, Boeing delivered the 7,000th harpoon unit since the weapon's introduction in 1977. The missile system has also been further developed into a land strike weapon, the standoff land attack missile. The regular harpoon uses active radar homing, and a low level, sea skimming cruise trajectory to improve survivability and lethality. The missile's launch platforms include fixed wing aircraft, surface ships, submarines, coastal defense batteries, from which it would be fired with a solid fuel rocket booster. Development. In 1965 the U.S. Navy began studies for a missile in the 45 km range class for use against surface submarines. The name Harpoon was assigned to the project. The sinking of the Israeli destroyer Elat in 1967 by a Soviet-built Styx anti-ship missile shocked senior United States Navy officers, who until then had not been conscious of the threat posed by anti-ship missiles. In 1970 Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Elmo Zumwalt accelerated the development of Harpoon as part of his Project 60 initiative, hoping to add much-needed striking power to U.S. surface combatants. Harpoon was primarily developed for use on U.S. Navy warships such as the Ticonderoga-class cruiser as their principal anti-ship weapon system. The Harpoon has also been adapted for carriage on several aircraft, such as the P-3 Orion, the A-6 Intruder, the S-3 Viking, the AV-8B Harrier II, and the F-A-18 Hornet and U.S. Air Force B-52H bombers. Harpoon was purchased by many American allies, including Pakistan, Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, the United Arab Emirates and most NATO countries. It has been carried by several U.S. Air Force aircraft, including the B-52H bomber and F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Royal Australian Air Force is capable of firing AGM-84 series missiles from its F-A-18F Super Hornets, FB Hornets, and April 3 C Orion aircraft, and previously from the now-retired F-111 CGS. The Royal Australian Navy deploys the Harpoon on major surface combatants and in the Collins-class submarines. The Spanish Air Force and the Chilean Navy are also AGM-84D customers, and they deploy the missiles on surface ships and F-A-18s, F-16s, and P-3 Orion aircraft. The British Royal Navy deploys the Harpoon on several types of surface ship. The Royal Canadian Navy carries Harpoon missiles on its Halifax-class frigates. The Royal New Zealand Air Force is looking at adding the capability of carrying a standoff missile, probably Harpoon or AGM-65 Maverick on its six P-3 Orion patrol planes once they have all been upgraded to P-3K-2 standard. The Republic of Singapore Air Force also operates five modified Fokker 50 maritime patrol aircraft which are fitted with the sensors needed to fire the Harpoon missile. The Pakistani Navy carries the Harpoon missile on its naval frigates and P-3C Orions. The Turkish Navy carries Harpoons on surface warships and Type 209 submarines. The Turkish Air Force will be armed with the Slammer. At least 339 Harpoon missiles were sold to the Republic of China Air Force for its F-16 Ares per bite Block 20 fleet and the Taiwanese Navy, which operates four guided missile destroyers and eight guided missile frigates with the capability of carrying the Harpoon, including the eight former U.S. Navy Knox-class frigates and the four former U.S. Enkid-class destroyers which have been sold to Taiwan. The two Zwarad Vis high lung submarines and 12 P-3C Orion aircraft can also use the missile. The H. Chengkung class frigate, despite being based on the U.S. Oliver Hazard Perry class class, have harpoon capabilities deleted from their combat systems, and funding to restore it has so far been denied. The Block 1 missiles were designated AGMAM 84A in U.S. service and UGM 84B in the U.K. Block 1B standard missiles were designated AGMAM 84C, Block 1C missiles were designated AGMAM 84D. Block 1 used a terminal attack mode that included a pop-up to approximately 1800M before diving on the target. Block 1B emitted the terminal pop-up. And Block 1C provided a selectable terminal attack mode. Equals Harpoon Block 1D equals, 
This version featured a larger fuel tank and rear attack capability, but was not produced in large numbers because its intended mission was considered to be unlikely following the events of 1991 Euro 92. Range is 278 km. Block 1D missiles were designated RGMA GM84F. Equals SLAM ATA equals, this version, under development, gives the SLAM a re-attack capability, as well as an image comparison capability similar to the Tomahawk cruise missile. That is, the weapon can compare the targets seen in front of it with an image stored in its onboard computer during terminal phase target acquisition and lock-on. Block 1G missiles AGMAM 84G. The original SLAM ER missiles were designated AGM 84H and later ones the AGM 84K. Equals Harpoon Block 1 Dual equals, Block 1J was a proposal for a further upgrade, AGMAM 84J Harpoon, for use against both ship and land targets. Equals Harpoon Block 2 equals. In production at Boeing facilities in St. Charles, Missouri, is the Harpoon Block 2 intended to offer an expanded engagement envelope, enhanced resistance to electronic countermeasures and improved targeting. Specifically, the Harpoon was initially designed as an open ocean weapon. The Block II missiles continue progress begun with Block IE, and the Block II missile provides the Harpoon with a littoral water anti-ship capability. The key improvements of the Harpoon Block II are obtained by incorporating the Inertial Measurement Unit from the Joint Direct Attack Munition Program, and the Software, Computer, Global Positioning System Inertial Navigation System and GPS Antenna Receiver from the SLAM Expanded Response, an upgrade to the SLAM. The U.S. Navy awarded a $120 million contract to Boeing in July 2011 for the production of about 60 Block II Harpoon missiles including missiles for six foreign militaries. Boeing lists 30 foreign navies as Block II customers. India acquired 24 Harpoon Block II missiles to arm its maritime strike Jaguar fighters in a deal worth $170 million through the foreign military sales system. In December 2010, the Defense Security Cooperation Agency notified U.S. Congress of a possible sale of 21 additional AGM-84L Harpoon Block II missiles and associated equipment, parts and logistical support for a complete package worth approximately $200 million. The Indian government intends to use these missiles on its Indian Navy P-8I Neptune Maritime Patrol aircraft. Indian Navy is also planning to upgrade the fleet of four submarines a Euro Shishuma class submarine a Euro with tube launched Harpoon missiles. Harpoon Block II missiles are designated AGMAM 84L. Equals Harpoon Block III equals, Harpoon Block III was intended to be an upgrade package to the existing USN Block 1C missiles and command launch systems for guided missile cruisers, guided missile destroyers, and the FF Super Hornet fighter aircraft. After experiencing an increase in the scope of required government ship integration, test and evaluation, and a delay in development of a data link, the Harpoon Block III program was cancelled by the U.S. Navy in April 2009. Equals Harpoon Next Generation equals, in April 2015, Boeing unveiled a modified version of the RGM-84 it calls the Harpoon Next Generation. It increases the ship-launched Harpoon missiles range from the Block 2 17m to 113m, along with a new lighter 300 pounds warhead a more fuel-efficient engine with electronic fuel controls. Boeing is offering the missile as the U.S. Navy's littoral combat ship frigate upgrade over the Horizon anti-ship missile as a cost-effective missile upgrade option. The Harpoon next generation will likely compete against the Kongsberg Raytheon naval strike missile and could be ready for service by 2017. Operational history In 1981 and 1982 there were two accidental launches of Harpoon missiles, one by the USN and the other by the Danish Navy, which destroyed and damaged buildings in the recreational housing area Lumsa Yenes. The Danish missile was later known as the Hovsa missile. In November 1980 during Operation Morvarid Iranian missile boats attacked and sank two Iraqi OSA-class missile boats. One of the weapons used was the Harpoon missile. In 1986, the United States Navy sank at least two Libyan patrol boats in the Gulf of Sergera. 
two Harpoon missiles were launched from the USS Yorktown with no confirmed results and several others from A-6 intruder aircraft that were said to have hit their targets. Initial reports claimed that the USS Yorktown scored hits on a patrol boat, but action reports indicated that the target may have been a false one and that no ships were hit by those missiles. In 1988, Harpoon missiles were used to sink the Iranian frigate Sahan during Operation Praying Mantis. Another was fired at the Kaman class missile boat Joshin, but failed to strike because the fast attack craft had already been mostly sunk by RIM 66 standard missiles. An Iranian owned Harpoon missile was also fired at the guided missile cruiser USS Wainwright. The missile was successfully lured away by chaff. In December 1988, a harpoon launched by an F-A-18 Hornet fighter from the aircraft carrier USS Constellation killed one sailor when it struck the merchant ship Jagvivk, a 250-feet-long Indian-owned ship, during an exercise at the Pacific Missile Range near Kauai, Hawaii. A notice to mariners had been issued warning of the danger, but Jagvivk left port before receiving the communication and subsequently strayed into the test range area, and the harpoon missile, loaded just with an inert dummy warhead, locked onto it instead of its intended target. In June 2009, it was reported by an American newspaper, citing unnamed officials from the Obama administration and the U.S. Congress, that the American government had accused Pakistan of illegally modifying some older harpoon missiles to strike land targets. Pakistani officials denied this and they claimed that the U.S. was referring to a new Pakistani-designed missile. Some international experts were also reported to be skeptical of the accusations. Robert Hewson, editor of Jane's Air Launched Weapons, pointed out that the harpoon is not suitable for the land attack role due to deficiency in range. He also stated that Pakistan was already armed with more sophisticated missiles of Pakistani or Chinese design and, therefore, beyond the need to reverse engineer old U.S. kit. Hewson offered that the missile tested by Pakistan was part of an undertaking to develop conventionally armed missiles, capable of being air or surface launched, to counter its rival India's missile arsenal. It was later stated that Pakistan and the U.S. administration had reached some sort of agreement allowing U.S. officials to inspect Pakistan's inventory of harpoon missiles, and the issue had been resolved. Operators equals Current operators equals General characteristics Primary function, air, surface, or submarine-launched anti-surface missile, contractor, the McDonnell Douglas Astronautic Company A Euro East, power plant, Teledin CAEJ-402 turbojet, 660 pounds force thrust, and a solid propellant booster for surface and submarine launches, length, air-launched, 3.8 meters, surface and submarine-launched, 4.6 meters. Weight, air launched, 519 kilograms, submarine or ship launched from box or canister launcher, 628 kilograms. Diameter, 340 millimeters, wingspan, 914 millimeters, maximum altitude, 910 meters with booster fins and wings, range, over the horizon, AGM 84D, 220 kilometers, RGM UGM 84D, 140 km, AGM 84E, 93 km, AGM 84F, 315 km, RGM 84F, 278 km, RGM AGM 84L, 278 km, AGM 84 hours per carat, 280 km. Speed, high subsonic, around 850 km per hour. Guidance, sea skimming crews monitored by radar altimeter, active radar terminal homing, warhead, 221 kg, penetration high explosive blast, unit cost, 527,416 US dollars, date deployed, ship launched, 1977, air launched, 1979, submarine launched, 1981, SLAM, 1990, SLAM ER, 1998. 2000, Slammer ATA, 2002. See also, Exocet, Brahmos, Sea Eagle, RBS-15, SSN-25, YJ-12, C-802, Type 90 ship-to-ship -ship missile, 
Long-range anti-ship missile. References. External links. Official Harpoon Information A Euro Boeing website. Detailed information of all Harpoon versions and upgrades A Euro from Encyclopedia Astronautica. AGM-84 variants. McDonnell Douglas AGM-84A Harpoon and AGM-84E Slam. FAS Harpoon Article. Global Security Harpoon Article. Boeing Harpoon Block 3 Press Release. Boeing Harpoon Block 2 Backgrounder, Royal Netherlands Navy launches harpoons from new frigate HMS Deruta.